Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, people. Are you there? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Miguel. How is everything? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Elizabeth. It's good to have you here again, people, uh, in this uh, second video conference. All right, so welcome everybody. And, uh, you know, we're going to start because it's like 8.01 already. So I'm gonna start with the attendance list just to start with you know the topic that we are going to be uh discussing tonight so i am going to go over this all right so let's start over give me one second first day all right ana carmina is it here already mm, okay she has not that thing connected yet. Uh, Augusto Cesar. No mm, case, okay, so he's not here yet. Carlos Ernesto. Hmm. Okay, he is there, but he's not in the seat right now. All right, so I'm gonna send him a standby. Elizabeth Joanna. Present. Ah, okay, you're there. Thank you. Evelyn Jamilet. Present. Ah, okay, good. Fredis Eliseo. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Let's see, Freddy Ernesto. Good evening, teacher. It's not here. Good evening, uh, Liliana. Okay. All right. Uh, Iris Daniela. Okay, so she's not here yet. Jacqueline Janet. Okay, so she's not here yet. Karim Janet. Present. Ah, okay, good. There you go. Ahora sí la escucho en el inicio. Ayer teníamos ese problemita de que no la escuchaba mucho. Ah, tenía good. un poco de interferencia. Ajá, ajá, exactly. Okay, but it's good that now we have fixed those issues. Ah, uh, Liliana Laura. Hi, Tizen. Hi. Hello. I mean, it. it Teresa is nombre. Name too. So name. it means you, you got three yes. names? Yes, it is. I mean that's that's interesting. Okay, I mean, that's nice. Okay. Eh, uh, I me pone asistencia porque <laughs> no, no, la pasé tempranito, verdad, nomás que entre las ocho. Ah, okay, no problem. Uh, right right now I'm just just passing the attendance list, okay? No problem with that. Sí, y lo siento, ayer sí estuve en clase pero en otro grupo. Ah, de veras. Es que, es que, es que lo que pasa que, ajá, el WhatsApp me pasó algo. Entonces, según yo y los mismos compañeros que estaban anteriormente, íbamos a estar. Entonces, a un compañero le quemó el link. Y me, o sea, sin querer estuve en otro. Ah, ok, ok. <risa> pero estuve okay. en clase. <risa> ajá, sí, pero estuve en clase, me da ese good thing. Ok, so, welcome to this new group. Ok, let's continue. María Isabel. Okay, she hasn't shown up. Maria Leticia. Okay, good. I am here, here. Marvin Oswaldo. 
present teacher. Ah, okay. Good. You're there. Uh, Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Rafael Alejandro. <coughs> Rafael Alejandro, are you there? I am he's there. Rafa, can you hear me? Hello. Está bravo el people. And Rafa can not hear me. Hey, Rafa, are you there? Rafa, okay. I guess he's having issues with the audio. Yeah, I guess he's having issues. I'm gonna write it down in here. Rafa, can you hear me? So let's see if he can. Okay, let's continue. So Rafa is there, but probably he has issues. Rudy Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, good, you're there. Sonia Elizabeth. Sonia, Sonia, all right, so she's not here yet. Wilbur Francisco. Excellent teacher. Okay, good. And the last one, Wilson Hernaldo. It is it here? No, it's not here. Uh. Okay, so let's let's start people okay let's start with the contents that we are going to be working on tonight we have a lot of information okay because we got part of the work that we were supposed to finish yesterday but we could not finish with uh you know like the topic that we were discussing so i am going to go ahead with teacher yes excuse me i, I am missing Carlos Ernesto. Ah, yeah, man, I mentioned you, but you were not there. <laughs> no se preocupe. I'm sorry, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I put you there in the attendance list. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, no problem. There you go. Let me see. Screen one. Screen two. All right. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Give me one second, people. Mm -hmm. That's the one. All right. Can you see my screen right now? Yes. Okay. Can you yes. see the presentation? Yes, it's oh, Okay. That's cool. Yes. There you go. Okay. So tonight's topic is just going to be time expressions for regular activities. Okay. We're going to continue talking about the simple present, but we're going to have it in a very different way, okay? We're going to have it in a very different way in comparison to yesterday's class. Give me one second. All right. Can you see my full uh, screen, people? This is weird. Okay, so let's just start over. As I said, if you remember yesterday, we were talking about the simple present form. All right, so we are going to continue tonight, but talking about time expressions for regular activities. Okay, so we're gonna be focusing on that. But first we are going to finish what we were discussing, all right, in the last class. All right, so let's start over. What's the most relevant that we are going to be discussing, all right, 
during the whole class. We are going to have a short review from the previous class, all right? Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de lo que estuvimos viendo ayer, something that you remember. We're going to bring up to the class. Right after that, we are going to work in the manual again. Why we're going to go straight to the manual? Because if you remember, if you remember yesterday, we did not finish. All right. We didn't finish uh, some activities related to the simple present. So we're going to try to finish uh, that thing tonight before going up or moving ahead with the second topic. Right after we finish with that, we are going to start with the topic that we're going to be developing tonight, which is time expressions, all right? And we're going to have an introduction with that. We are going to be providing examples about the uses of time expressions. And at the end, you're going to ask some questions each other. We're going to be working in pairs like yesterday. And at the end, we will finish with some production activities, all right? Like the ones that we were doing yesterday. Okay, so let's go into that. I'm going to move ahead to the manual. And then when we finish the activities that we're missing in the manual, we're going to come again to the presentation and have the introduction for the new topic. So I'm going to stop sharing this. And I am going to show you what we are going to be working on. Give me one second. Which is going to be the manual. Give me one second. I'm going to share to you the manual. Okay, but before showing up the manual, do you remember what was the most relevant that we were discussing yesterday? What do you remember from yesterday's class? Antes de mostrar el manual, ¿qué recordamos de la clase pasada? What do you guys remember? Any participation? The, the use verb in simple present and for singular. Ah, okay, good. So we were discussing about the uses of verbs. Okay, good. So we were discussing how to uh, basically work with first person, second person, or plurals, if you want to call it like that. And we were also discussing about the uses of per person or singular forms, right? In which we can include verbs with a little bit uh, with modifications like adding s e s or i e s okay so if you remember the last thing that we were doing it was this a conversation if you remember we were practicing that conversation okay and we basically finished on these things but if you go ahead with that in here we were missing this a specific page over here okay so we're gonna try to finish this one in a short conversation that we got from yesterday's topic and we are going to move on with okay the new topic that we have for tonight okay if you remember yesterday we were mixing simple present with activities that we do every day regular activities that we generally do every single day so saying this in here we got something it says on mondays i and it says check my email that is a normal activity from a person who really works okay that is something normal give me one second i'm gonna show that this okay, no, it's better. then we got type a letter do you understand what is type a letter? What is type a letter? Escribir una carta. Okay, there you go. Good. Write a report. What is that? Okay, good. 
to type a report, right? Hacer un reporte. Attend a meeting. What is that? Asistir a una reunión. Okay, there you go. Very good. What about the next one? Call clients. Llamar okay. clientes. There you go. Cool. Read a report. This is pretty similar to the one before, right? Ajá, leer un reporte. Cool. And then we got visit clients. Okay, there you go. That's correct. And the last one we got organize meetings. Organizar reuniones. Okay, there you go. That's a, that's a school. Okay, this is a normal activity of series of activities of a normal person in an office. Okay. okay, and here, what is the really uh, activity that we're going to be doing? It's this part over here. It says in here, listen, complete the sentences below with one activities from the boxes. Okay, so in here, we have a series of activities. And in here, we got some sentences. Check this out how we're going to be doing this. In here, you are going to choose one of these activities to complete these sentences over here. Okay? Like the example number one that is already finished. Here. Check this out. It says, I call clients every day. I use the company's phone. Okay. So what do I really need from you people? Let finish this. What goes in here? What goes in these spaces? Type a, a letter. <coughs> For example, we've got this one in here. Our secretary. And then it says, then she sends them via email. What goes in here? Which activity from this one goes in here? Type a letter. Type a letter. Type a letter? <coughs> email. Yes. Are you divided there or <coughs> what do you think that goes there? Do you think that is type of letter? Yes. Write report. Then send the see, write report. Okay. Yeah, in that case, in that case, it makes a little bit more sense in here by saying writes a report okay good right report and in here remember if i got that one over here i will put it like this okay if i put it like this is that correct is this correct yes or no ¿Está correcta esa oración que tengo ahorita ahí con esa información que he puesto? Simplemente respondanme, ¿sí o no? Um, about, uh, how about with the type of letter? Um, maybe it uh, could be right. Uh, for me, it's two, but I don't know. Uh, teacher, uh, no. Sería read a report. Read a report. Pero mm. no, no tendría lógica si dice leer un reporte y luego enviarlo a través de email. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 Okay. Supongamos que esta es la adecuada. This is the correct one. Ahora, mi pregunta es, my question is, is my sentence correct? No. Yes, teacher. <coughs> no, teacher. Yes, teacher. Why, why not? Eh, okay, para los que me dicen yes, all right. Good, good, good. Pero para los que me dicen no, why not? Me dicen de yes. Yes, because it's your first. Falta ese. Exactly. In that case, it's missing the S. Why is it missing the S? 
remember lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Dice our secretary. ¿De cuántas secretarias estamos hablando acá? No una. No one. No one. So in that case is singular. So in that case is our secretary writes a report. Ok. No se vayan a confundir solamente porque acá dice our, nuestra. Ok. Que puedan decir ustedes, ah, men, es plural. No. Recuerden que nosotros como grupo podemos mencionar algo que es nuestro. Pero si esa cosa o esa persona o ese algo con el que nosotros, del que nosotros vamos a estar hablando como nuestro es en singular, so the sentence has to be in singular, all right? So the verb has to go with a modification, maybe with S, I, E, S, or E, S. Remember that, okay? It's like if I said, check this out. Our car... Check that. Our car, like nuestro carro, right? How many cars am I talking about? Only one. one car. Only exactly. One. So I can say our car breaks down very often. So check this out. So the verb in here goes with an S. Why? Because we are talking about only one specific Car. Por cierto, si yo digo breaks down, ¿qué significa eso? Do you understand that? Breaks down. Break uh, means romper. Down significa abajo. Pero no significa romper abajo. Choca cada rato. Mm, no. no. Breaks down significa Como frenar cada momento. Uh, no, no, porque frenar es break, pero se escribe diferente. Es how breaks down. Romper, is... romper. Es como válida. Actually, 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 cuando, cuando estamos hablando de breaks down relacionado a carros, o ya sea una moto, significa averiarse. Okay. Averiarse, all right? <coughs> No vamos en tráfico y de repente empieza a echar humo, o se nos apaga, whatever. So our car breaks down, right? That's what it means, averiarse. Okay, good. So let's continue with this. Now, ¿podrían por favor hacerme la 3, 4 y 5? If you don't have the manual printed, Just copy the information over here, all right? And put the ones that you think it goes there. La voy a dejar así. ¿Podrían completarme la número 2, 3, 4 y 5? Nah, 3, 4 y 5. La 2 ya la hicimos. It's this one over here. Okay. okay. <clears throat> When you finish, let me know, okay? Ah, by the way, we're going to do the number six. Por cierto, vamos a hacer la número seis, pero esa ya va a ser personal a la uno. En ese caso, quiero que me escriban una actividad que ustedes hacen en su trabajo, normalmente a diario, por así decirlo. ¿Ok? Complement that one, number six, with your own information.
you finish, guys? Or are you about to finish? All right, guys, uh, you finished completing the sentences? Are you missing yet? Todavía les falta? Hey Sonia, are you back? Está haciendo mucho viento por su por su zona. No, teacher. Dime. Dime sé que aquí por mi cantón está haciendo un gran viento. <risa> en serio. Sí, está bastante viento. Yo veo por el volcán, cae el volcán, entonces. Me ha costado, me volví a sacar. Not really. Where, where do you live? I'm in Santa Tecla. Ah, you live in Santa Tecla. Ah, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Pero okay. ya en la tarde comenzó un viento fuerte, entonces creo que las conexiones las mueve porque me, me saca. Oh. Sí, igual, ahorita ya me cambié de lugar, estoy a la parte del, del route. <laughs> Okay, good. So almost everybody are, are from Santa Tecla. El viernes pasado se fue a Santa se supone que iba para Santa Elena. Me dejó de fallar. Bueno, me, se me molestó el teléfono. Y como iba con GPS, nada perdido por Santa Tecla. <laughs> oh, well, that's crazy. Perderse en los grandes tráficos. Everybody are from San Salvador here? Or Carlos, where are you? Where, where do you live, Carlos? 
I live in Ciudad Arce. Ah, okay, good. Es en la libertad. Yeah, I mean, es en la libertad, right? Yes. Somebody from here is from Oriente? Mm. Uno pasado fue la mitad que era de Oriente, ¿no? San Miguel. I got some people from Sultan. And I got, I mean, I got people, I got people from Chalatenango, San Miguel, Usulután, Santa Ana, San Sonate. I mean, I, I, I have people all over the, the country. Mm, Cabañas. Cabañas. I mean, that's Cuba. Cabañas. Hey, ya pasa la Paz. Tarde. Ya, ya pasa tarde, ese pan. I mean, you're from La Paz. Oh, that's nice. That's really cool. That's nice. It's good to have people from different places. That's really nice. Okay, good. I guess you guys have already finished. So let's check what you got. Um, let me see. Para no decir así como que, ah, a mí me mencionó así directamente. Let me see. Evelyn, give me one number from one to ten. Give me un número de uno al diez. Evelyn. <coughs> Evelyn, are you there? <laughs> sí. Give me one number from one to ten. Okay, lo vamos a hacer así en español. Deme, deme un número del uno al doce. Al, del uno al doce. Un número. Six. Six. Okay, let me see. Starting for you. One... Two, three, four, five, six. Isabel. Okay. Thank you, Evelyn. All right, Isabel, what do you have in number three? How do you have it? Okay. Um, yo le puse es la número dos. Okay. I check my email tw twice a day. I use my laptop computer. All right. Who got uh, similar to Isabel? ¿Quién la tiene como ella? Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> okay. Who got like that? I check my email uh, twice a day. I use my laptop computer. Yeah, that's correct. That's the one. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, Isabel. Yeah, man, that's correct. That's the one. All right. Isabel, choose one of your classmates for the next one. Okay. Um, la dos. No la hice. No, listen, 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 Isabel. Okay. Help me choose one of your classmates okay. to read the next example. Okay. Okay. No, I mean, escoja okay. Uno de sus, okay. Escoja uno de sus compañeros para que me lea la siguiente. Solo le tendí compañero nada más. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Okay. Número, ¿verdad? Uh, o no. nombre. Nombre, name. Ay, Let's no. try with one name. Okay. Vamos a ver. Elizabeth. Where is it? <laughs> Ay, ahí te va Rafa también. No lo había visto. <laughs> no. Okay. Listen. Thank you, Isabel. <laughs> did, you, okay. did, you, did you complete it? Yeah, man, I guess you completed it. All right. What do you have in number four, Elizabeth? <laughs> I have to get out every Monday at... Uh, uh, no, but 
But in this case, Isabel, uh, uh, I mean, Elizabeth, oh, okay, okay. It, was, it was related to this one. Okay, this one. okay, okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Ay, que me ha costado conectar. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, is there... Which one do you have? Um... Um, I have to attend a meeting in the morning or organize meeting every morning. Hopefully, I have to. Which one will you choose? I. Um. Organize uh, meetings. Organize meetings. Mm. Is possible? Yeah. Is it possible? Alguien que tenga organize uh, meetings. Visit cl uh, clients every morning. Visit clients. Okay. Who got uh -huh. something like that in there? Visit clients. I am, and you got you got problems with the internet. You got frozen yeah. sometimes. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna ask uh, your classmates what do they have in there, and then we're gonna come back with you. Uh, for that one, people, what do you have? Uh, the the first person. And okay. Me, I have to. All right. Cool. Uh huh. In this one is it's a first person sentence. Okay. And I will help you up in here. In here, it says I have two. In here, you might have something like this. Look, if it is a Monday mm, at 8 a.m., you're basically getting to your office. Okay, and if you really work with clients, what's the first thing that you will do with your clients? Call clients. On call. Exactly. Call clients. All right. That will be like the one. This is a, a PM or AM? AM. This is the best. AM. Uh, come on. Oh. You're not gonna you're not gonna call clients are 8 p.m. or working at 8 p.m. No. <laughs> it's mostly in the morning. Uh, yeah, it, it yeah. might be. Mm. Okay, it might be possible. Okay. But in this case, take it as, as okay. in the morning, okay? Thank in the morning. You. Too there bad. You. Okay, cool. What about the next one where it says Celia? What are you having here, people? Any volunteer? The chair is yes. the same with, with first example. Uh, what do you say, Woodrow? Uh, uh, the first example is oh, I call clients and the fourth example I have to call clients yeah it, it can be same. The, same. the same it can be the same or if you want to change it if you don't want to be like like really attached with those ones put it like this visit clients visit clients nice. alright you can put it like that with no problem. Ooh, I'm gonna put it like here. Okay, what about the next one? It says, Celia, and it says, the meetings take place in the auditorium. What are you having here, people? Um, Organize meetings. Organize. Organize meetings like this yes you got it like that quien la tiene así exactamente como la tengo yo me no 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 teacher yo la tengo attend I, a meeting me too I, attend a meeting no um what Organize, 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 organize meeting. 
organized okay. with all S. All right, listen. In this case, quien dijo organized meetings y quien dijo attend meetings, ambas opciones son correctas. Both options are correct because both of them are talking about meetings, okay? Ambas están refiriendo a reuniones, right? Good. The only thing that ha it's happening here, it's that you have to remember, people, that in here, I'm not going to say organize like this. I have to write down the S, organizes meetings for the ones who got organized, okay? And for the one who got attend, it's... Give me one second. Like this. Attends meetings. Okay. With S, attends. Because it's third person. Remember, we're talking about third person sentences. Okay. That's the only difference that we got to remember. All right. Good. And what about the number six? The one that you were about to do. ¿Quién hizo la número seis? Así, a criterio personal. Put that in. Uh, almost everybody. Sure. All right, good. I'm gonna start uh -huh. with. Uh, -huh. uh, the number thing for me, uh, for example, I have to check the attendance of check the, the staff. Check the attendance of the staff. Okay, of the very staff. good. Yes, there you go. Thank you, Carlos. Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, I got to Elizabeth in here. No. Okay. Yeah. Ah, give me one second. Give me one second. We got two Elizabeths in here. Sonia Elizabeth and Elizabeth. Okay, good. So, sorry. Sonia is saying, no, I hate to be called Sonia. So, Elizabeth, you're going to be Elizabeth one and the other one, Elizabeth two. <laughs> right now, Elizabeth Katota. Let's go, Elizabeth. I make a report every day. Oh, you make a report every day? Okay, good. Thank you. Good. Uh, Leticia? That's for yours. Uh, like I said, I had to attend to patients, read a prescription, and file out medicine. Ah, okay. Good, good. Interesting. I mean, you work in a, you work in a hospital or something like that? No, pharmacy. Ah, a pharmacy. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. So you understand those crazy letters from doctors? Uh. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's nice. Like a gancho. O sea, que usted es una pro leyendo esos ganchos de los doctores, man. That's cool. Algunos. Porque hay unos que los devuelvo. No sé qué dice. Por sí. seguridad del paciente no se despacha. Y no darle otras cosas que no sean. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Okay. Thank you, Leticia. All right. Uh, Evelyn. Rogers. I make calls every day. I make calls. No sé cómo se pronuncia exactamente. Uh, calls, you mean, you mean llamadas? No, abrigos. Ah, uh, you make coats. Ah, I mean, okay, coats. you work in a factory. Okay, I mean, that's cool. Yes. I mean, that's nice. That's really cool. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see, Rafa. Um, I have to a meeting at 8 a.m. every day. I have a meeting, right? A meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, all right. Thank you. Wilbur? She visits clients once a day a week. One day a week. One, one day a week. Okay. Or once, oh, one, oh. Or, or, or once. Once. Once, once a week. No, una vez, no. Uh, una vez a la no semana. 
una yes. vez a la semana, once uh -huh. a week. Like once that. A week. Once a week. Okay. It means one time a week. All right. Once thank you. Once a week. Yeah, thank you. Karim, read yours. Um, puse, ya le digo. Uh, I take I take phone calls and attend patients. To attend patients. Patients, right? Patients. Pacientes, sí, right? Paci sí, pacientes. Sí. Okay, so that means patients. Okay. So you work in a hospital, right? Or no? No, laboratorio. Ah, okay. You work in a lab. Okay, there you go. That's nice. Okay, thank you for your uh, participation. Let me see. Freddy's, let's go with yours, mister. Yes, uh, I grab, I call sales executives every day between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Ah, okay, good. Thank you. Miguel. Um... I write in number six, I have to read a report every day at 9 a.m. Mm, okay, all right, thank you. Makes sense. Thank you, Mr. Liliana. Lilita, I am writing a report in the world, in the book, and I'm talking about radio, I don't know how to say it, I don't know how to say it. Give me a second, I'm talking about what? Da um, reporte y um, habla de despachos que llaman en radio, así los reportes también escrito en bitácora. Ah, ok, ok, interesting. Well, that, that's your work for? What, what is, what, what is your, the, the, the type of work. job that you do? Work. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, operador de planta. Ah, ok, interesting. That's very really interesting. <laughs> Like your three names, eh? I mean, that's interesting again. De hecho, usted es la segunda persona que veo con, con, con three names. Es un tanto peculiar ver así, like three names on a row. That's nice. That's really cool. All right. Thank you, Liliana. Thank uh, you. Oh, who, how do you like to be called? Liliana, Laura, or Teresa? Um, cualquier que... Cualquiera. La historia de mi mami de herencia, pero... Cualquiera que usted guste, o Lili, o Laura. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, porque, porque acá ayer alguien me dijo, no, teacher, no me gusta que me llamen así. Llámeme por este otro nombre. Así que... ¿El segundo qué me dijo? No le entendí eso. ¿Qué me dijo la segunda? ¿Qué me dijo? Ah, no, que, que sí. ¿Cómo le gustaba que le, que le dijeran más? Right? No, cualquiera. Ah, anyway, ok, cool. There you go. So, let's continue. Let me see, Marvin, read yours please. Hi, um, a taxi party Florin to us we call. Mm, okay, thank you. Rudy, <laughs> you there? You there? Can you hear me, Rudy? Yes. Okay. Can you uh, help me out reading yours? Yes. I answer emails every morning at 10 a.m. Uh, you are coordinating. That's what you mean? No. I answer emails. Ah, you morning. answer. Okay. All right. You answer emails every morning. Okay, good. At 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. Okay, I mean, that's nice. That's really cool. Thank you, Rudy. Let me see, Elizabeth. Let's read yours. Teacher, what Elizabeth? You. A mí díganme Liz y ahí Elizabeth. Bueno, la solución. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, the, repeat the question, please. 
le ame su oración? Um, I, I prepare the, present, the legal presentation. Ah, ok. The legal presentation. Ok, good. It makes sense. That's part of your job. There you go. Uh, someone else that might be missing. Let me see. Isabel is missing. Yeah, Isabel. Let's read yours. Bien okay. calladita está. Um, <laughs> uh, organize the staff meeting every Friday. Ah, you organize the staff meeting every Friday. Okay, good. That makes sense. Thank you, thank you. All right, people. Listen up. Because this thing, it, it, it's taking like kind of too long. Uh, we're going to put it like here. We're going to stop in here with this. And we're going to go ahead with the presentation that I bring for you tonight. So just give me one second. I'm going to show you the presentation. All right. No, it turns weird, this thing. Give me one second, guys. It is turning kind of weird. Oh, it's in here. Okay, so we're going to try to move on. And the conversation that we got in the next page from the manual, we're going to do it in the last day of the week. We're, we're finishing. And that's going to be on Tuesday for next week. So right now we're going to continue with this. Give me one second. This is the one that we're going to be talking about right now. Okay. Can you see my presentation? Yes. All right. Perfect. So as I said, we're going to continue with part of the simple present forms. And right now what we're going to be talking, it's just about time expressions. When you heard the words time expressions, what comes to your heart? What do you think is a time expression? Do you guys have any idea about what is a time expression? What do you think it is? ¿Alguna idea que se les venga a la cabeza cuando escuchan esas palabras? Time expressions. Yeah, I imagine that uh, when I... I... Ask the time, for example, or, or when you ask the time, or the hours, the hours mm, might have any kind of logic uh, the way you're 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 telling, but no, it's not about the, it's not about the hours, it's not about the time, it's a little bit something different. Is yes. yes, um. What do you think it is? Uh huh. It's a journey of the day. Is the the and different time, the past, the present, the future? No. Huh? It makes sense. All right, we're getting into. Casi vamos llegando por ahí. As Fred said and then Elizabeth. Yeah, time expressions. It goes into the future. Simple present and a simple past. Para todas esas, para las tres eh, etapas, hay una, unas time expressions específicas. All right, guys, listen. A time expression, it's basically when you mention how frequently you do one activity, how regularly you do one activity, okay? That is a time expression. And you will see something like this. Check this out. Wilbur, help me out reading this one. The definition. We use time expression to mention how frequently we do an activity. Okay. An activity. All right. Thank you, mister. It's basically what I was saying. So in this case, a time expression is basically those words that tells you how frequent 
you do an a specific activity. For example, check this out, and I want the help of always, uh, usually, often, mm -hmm. uh, often, sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, never, creo que por ahí vamos, ¿verdad? Okay, okay. No. It, it is going like that. All right. Thank you, Isabel. Actually, Esos son conectores. that one is considered, that one, that, that specific category, it might be included in here. But, listen, as Wilbur said, those are connectors, but those ones are called, to be specific, adverbs of frequency or frequency yeah. adverbs. All right, que eso los vamos a ver más adelante. All right, we're going to see those, those ones a little bit. Yeah, in the future, but right now I want way to focus on hair. Check this out. Teacher, for example, an hour ago. An hour ago? Okay, uh, it might be a time expression, exactly. But those ones are expressing simple past. Uh, that one is to talk about a past action. For example, yeah, okay. for example, if I say, uh, I started the class, the English class, one hour ago. I started the English class one hour ago. That one is a simple past sentence. But these ones are for simple present. Remember, simple present. And we it's got sure, them in but, here. But the verb yes. is, is changed because the, the time is different. It, exactly. He, it changed. Here is in past. Exactly. Exactly. But in here, we got them in simple present. Por eso les mencioné antes, si estamos hablando del pasado, tenemos expresiones de tiempo en el pasado. Si estamos hablando del presente, we got a specific expressions for the simple present. If we got in the future, we got expressions specifically for the future. But, para entrar en detalle, if you're talking about the past, tenemos yesterday, last week, Last month, last year. Last weekend. Last weekend. Esas son expresiones de tiempo or time expressions talking about the past. Si estamos hablando de futuro, future, tomorrow, next week, next weekend, next month, next year. Those ones are time expressions talking about future actions, okay? If you take a look at this example I have in here, it says, I play the piano. And check this out. Every day. Every day becomes in what? Becomes in the time expression. This is the time expression in here. What is every day? Now. Yeah. All right. Now or todos los días. O cada día. Si ustedes lo quieren llamar así. Pero igual, every day means todos los días. All right. That's what it means. So, since we're talking about a repeated action every day, so it means that's why we use this time expression to talk about actions in simple present. Okay? Check this out, this second example. <laughs> Leticia, help me on reading this one. You eat chicken weekly. All right. You eat chicken weekly. What is weekly? Semanalmente. Semanalmente, exactly. All right. Como apoyo semanalmente. Exactly. All right. ¿Podemos sustituir weekly? Claro que sí. ¿Cuál sería la sustitución más apropiada si yo quiero eliminar la palabra weekly? Every day. Every week. Every week. It's the same. All right? It's the same. All right? Good. Check yeah. this out. Yes? Uh, what does mean nowadays? Nowadays means ahora en día. Ahora en día. Yes. Okay. It's a time expression in, in, in present time. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, what about this one, uh, Elizabeth Catota? Tell me a reading, please. The third one, uh, once a week. Once a week. Okay, there you go. 
Thank you. People. Okay, we send reports once a week. Check this out. In here, it starts the time expression. Once a week. What is once a week? Una vez a la semana. Exactly. En este caso es como one time a week. Right? En, en vez de decir one time, lo reducimos a once. Yeah. Once. Once es lo mismo que one time. All right, and it's kind of faster for us to, to say something like that, right? Good. So in that case, once a week is the time expression. Okay, next one. Check this out. Uh, let's see. Karim, help me out reading. They finish the work every afternoon. Okay, thank you. They finish the work every afternoon. So you see, every afternoon in here, it's the time expression. Okay, this one is like the expression that we are basically putting in context in this sentence. All right, remember, ¿para qué nos sirve la time expression? Simple y sencillamente para mencionar con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos una actividad, ya sea todos los días, ya sea semanalmente, ya sea una vez al mes, o whatever, right? Con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos una actividad. Ese es el punto de las time expressions. Okay? Good. Until here, do you have, guys, any question? ¿Tenemos alguna duda, alguna pregunta hasta acá? This, this sentence, this time expression have a structure. No, they don't have a specific structure. They are like that. Uh, what we have are categories, as I said. Categories okay. of time expressions to talk about simple past actions. Categories okay. of time expressions to talk about the present and to talk about the future. But they don't okay. have a specific structure. And the only Three thing... Exactly. And the only thing that you have to remember is, esto sí quiero que lo tengan bien claro. Listen, una time expressions o va al principio de una oración o va al final. Siempre, por lo general, casi siempre es al final. Ok, nunca van en medio de una oración. All right. Ese, eso sí quiero que lo tengan en claro. O van al principio. Eso sí, que cuando van al principio... Si ponen la time expression primero, van a poner una coma después de la time expression. Y luego lo que le sigue de la oración. ¿Cómo así? Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir uh, like this, check this out. Yo puedo poner I, check this out, I teach English every day. Or Every day, comma, I teach English. All right? We can put it like this. O van al final, as I said, o van al principio. Aunque al principio es bien poco común que se vean. Pero cuando esto sucede, van divididas por una coma. All right? I want you to keep that on mind. Pero casi siempre las van a ver al final. All right? At the end. Teacher, yes. Uh, when the, when you begin in the the sentences, uh, for example, every uh, like e is right with the capital letter. Uh, yeah, I mean it depends on on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. It can be capital. Si es después okay. de un punto, of course, right? Si es el inicio de un párrafo, yeah, capital. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. Good. Let's continue. Uh, any question? ¿Alguna otra duda hasta acá? Or oh, everything is okay. Everything is good? No, okay. No. La, la regla para los verbos siempre en tercera persona siempre va a ir con ese. Al yes, final. exactly. Esto aquí no afecta la regla de las terceras personas, okay? Aquí sí no, 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 no afecta en nada. Okay. All right. Yeah. We got the modifications in here. 
There you go. So let's move on. Ta, ta, ta. Elizabeth o oh, Eli o oh, como me dijo que le dijera. Eh, casi, no se casi no Richard, se parece please. a usted. Casi no se please. parece a usted. Ah, sí, que la negué. <risa> Okay, good. Check this out, people. Common time expressions and simple present. We got some some in here. This ones are like the most common ones that we got in simple present so you can say every day every month every week every year okay so every day what is every day you got them right todos los días if if you got every month what is that todos los meses todos los meses or cada mes depending on what you want to perceive that one every week you know what is that? Every year, it's like like cada año o todos los años, right? Okay, and we got this one as well: daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. All right, that one is very commonly used also. All right, daily it's like diariamente, weekly, semanalmente. Monthly, you know what is that? Mensualmente and yearly, annualmente, right? Mm. Got it like that. Good. And then we got expressions like this. Once. Cada semana, una vez la semana. All right, exactly. Remember in that case, once significa una vez. Once. All right, so we got once a week. One time a week. Once a month, it means una vez al mes, right? Once a year, una vez al año. And we got another one, twice. Twice, remember, means dos veces. Twice, la palabra twice, recuerden, significa dos veces. Twice a day, dos veces al día. Twice a week, dos veces a la semana, right? Twice a month, dos veces al mes, and twice a year, dos veces al año. All right, depending on what we're talking about. And in here, también entra la categoría, bueno, aunque estas eh, se escriben diferente, y vamos a explicar un poco eso. Los que mencionaba, uh, if, I don't, if I'm not wrong, it was uh, Isabel, yeah, Isabel, the frequency adverbs. We got always, sometimes, never, frequently, readily. We got often, and we got many more, right? Many more of this of these words. Pero que también, de cierto modo, a veces nos sirven para hablar con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos una actividad. Solo que estas las voy a poner en una categoría un poco diferente, porque se escriben diferente. Just for you not to get confused. Good. So until here, people, do you have any question with this? Vamos bien hasta acá. Any question? Teacher, mm -hmm. perdón. ¿Cuáles se escriben diferente? The last, los, the last ones. Las últimas. The last one. Yeah, las que tenemos. Always, sometimes, never, frequently, readily. Cambia la posición, digamos, dentro de una oración. Por eso, esa la voy a dejar al final para darles unos ejemplos. Ah, pero esos son los adverbios de, de tiempo, ¿verdad? That's correct. De frecuencia. De frecuencia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ok, thank you. That's correct. Good. Ok, cool. So, everything is getting clear. Todo está claro como el fondo que tengo aquí. I mean, that's nice. That is nice. Cuando todos se quedan en silencio, me hace pensar de que me estoy vamos, dando vamos a entender bien. de una manera súper excelente. Espero y no me pase como las veces eh, anteriores en los otros modelos. 
Todo está claro. Yes, teacher, yes. Al momento de la actividad, teacher, es que no entendí. <ríe> y así como, ah, ¿por qué no preguntó entonces? Well, well, that's funny. But uh, I know you are, you're getting this. This is pretty simple. Easy for you guys. All right. So let's move. And I'm going to go a little bit ahead because uh, I'm going to share this presentation, okay? I'm going to share this presentation uh, in the WhatsApp group like I did yesterday. Doggos are getting crazy. Examples. So we got into the examples area. Check this out. Freddy's, help me out reading this example, please. Yes. Mario plays soccer weekly. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Someone that has not participation that much. Marvin, help me out with this one, please. They go to the supermarket three times a week. Weekend. Uh, three times a week? Uh -huh. Week That's one. month, years. All right, thank you. Okay, you can say it like that. Three times a week or three times a month or three times a year, right? Depending on how frequent you do that activity. Thank you, mister. Next one. Check this out. Miguel. We go about once a year. All right. Uh, we, go, we go about uh, once a month. All right. Uh, once a week. Thank you, mister. Thank you. Okay. Good. So we go abroad once a year, once a month, or once a week. What is going abroad, people? ¿Qué quiero decir en esa oración ahí? Any idea? Que nos vamos al extranjero. Or so. Exactly. Eso es como, I mean, vamos a otro país. Right? Go abroad significa ir a otro país. Ok? Go abroad. Exactly. Let's go in abroad. Cha, cha, cha. Como ir a Guatemala en avión. <ríe> ah, Como la niña Yanira. <ríe> Justamente eso iba a decir. Man. Y así como que, ah, qué genial, me voy para otro país. Adivina ojalá dónde suba. voy. Dice. Ojalá suba. Y así como, ojalá suba. ¿Para dónde va? Y todo. Y va a llegar a Guatemala. Ey, ey, déjala. Jeremy, ¿cuántas agarras? Y vaya, no. Es nada. Ok. Next one. Uh, let me see who can help me out with this one. Someone that has not that much participation. Evelyn, help me out, please. She takes a shower every day. Or? Every day? Oh. Daily. Daily. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Daily, it means the same as every day, okay? The every day or daily, it's the same. Good. You guys, you take a shower very often or once a, once a week? I do see some faces in here, like pretty weird. Uh, Marvin, help me out reading this one, please. Seria, I pay my bill every month or monthly. Monthly, okay. I pay my bills. Monthly. Exactly, monthly. Thank you, mister. All right, I pay my bills every month or monthly. What are bills? Las facturas. facturas. O los recibos. ¿no? Energía, whatever, right? And everything. Monthly significa. Monthly. All right. It's really funny. A veces es divertido como, como nosotros los que solemos hablar español y tenemos como lengua, lengua primer idioma, that one. And we go to another country. Y vamos a otro país y tendemos a tener ese, ese mix de, de, de lenguas. 
No sé si alguna vez han escuchado ustedes a una persona que viva en el extranjero que en vez de recibos diga biles. Yes. Ah, me tengo que pagar los biles. Ah, you yes. See. It comes from this word, bills. La falta de recibo. Exactly. Te mando el dinero para que me pagues los biles. Exactly. So you see. Mixamos todo, man. You're special on that. <laughs> okay, good. So we got this one. This is the last one. Okay, and it says he studies math twice a week. Twice a week. Right, so él estudia matemáticas dos veces a la semana. All right, so that's something that we generally do. All right, guys, what do I really want from you with this? In order to see if you have really understood these things, Good. Quiero que me hagan dos ejemplos. Listen. Una mencionándome una actividad en la que ustedes lo hagan de una manera no tan regular y una que lo hagan de una manera un tanto más frecuente. ¿Ok? Pueden usar cualquiera de las time expressions que las hemos mostrado ahí. All right. But based on you. Basado en lo que ustedes hacen. ¿Ok? It can be about the, your job. It can be about your family, trips, or whatever. Or you can mention the times that you go to the supermarket, times that you go to another country, or the times that you go to the beach, whatever. But I got, I want two examples, two different examples with time expressions, okay? Using the simple present. Let's do it. Teacher, ¿eso yes. es en base al trabajo o en base a lo que hacemos? En, base a, en, a lo que, en base a lo que usted haga, ya sea en su trabajo o en rutinas fuera del trabajo, whatever. Pero quiero dos okay. ejemplos, ¿ok? Con dos diferentes time expressions. Gracias. All right. Y él y así como que, ¿qué están haciendo? Los veo todos callados. They are doing two examples, Eli. Yo dije, fue el raptor y se fueron. <laughs> Me están haciendo dos. Lo siento están... que esta hora se toma la niña en la parcha y no me siento preparando en la mano. Por eso no tengo right. hijo. All right, no problem. ¿Ah? Demasiado tarde, I have one. <risa> ok, me están haciendo dos ejemplos ahorita, usando cualquiera de las time expressions, ok? Just let me know when you finish, okay? Teacher. Mm -hmm. May I say my, my example? Okay, good. If you haven't already finished, let's go. Uh, for example, uh, I go to a zoo once a year. I go to? 
I go to a zoo once a year. Okay, good, good. Uh, the other one could be uh, I have a piano lesson uh, twice a, a week. Okay, I have piano lessons twice a week. All right, that's cool. That's really nice. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Cool. Quien las vaya terminando, encienda su micrófono y le amenas. All right. Um, teacher. Yes. I visit to I visit to the dentist twice a year, and okay. I go to my parents every weekend. I go to to my parents. Va. Vamos a hacer una pequeña um, modificación ahí. We're gonna make uh, we're gonna okay. rechange in there a little bit. Check this out. Put it like this. I go to uh, like this. I go to my parent. Like this. My parents' house. Y luego la time expression. Okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. so... Porque si no pone house o si, o si solo pone así, my parents, acá, está obligado poner visit. To visit. Exactly. Okay. Is house for a more specific? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Perfect, sir. Thank you. Teacher. Yo. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Who say yo? Yo. <laughs> Leticia. I am in there. And then Marvin. Uh -huh. Let's go, Leticia. I have to exercise every day. Okay. I have to exercise every day. I go to the supermarket once a month. Okay, I go to the supermarket. Once a month? Really? I have to go once a week. <laughs> solo para mí. Only for solo, you? Solo para mí, mijo. <laughs> ah, man, that's cool. That's nice. No, pero igual yo solo para mí, mijo. Pero el mercado yeah, lo tengo a la par. Ah, man, so that's why. Y yo tengo que correr como el 40 supermercado, minutos. sí, está lejos, pero el mercado está cerca. No, man, that's nice. Okay. Thank you, Leticia. Thank you. Oh, my God. 